Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how to create your first Android application via the command line using ant to automate the build process. The standard way to develop and deploy Android applications is using Eclipse IDE or Integrated Development Environment. Although this is great, there are a few things we cannot easily do with this system like adding custom build steps using an automated build system using build configurations and building the release project with one command fortunately the Android SDK or software development kit comes equipped with support for ant which is a common build script to automate the Java compilation process if you have programmed in C language before then you may be familiar with make ant is the equivalent of make in Java so before we begin make sure that you have the Android SDK command line tools installed on your computer you can click on this video over here if you need instructions on downloading and setting up the Android SDK command line tools and then just come back later when you're finished with the installation. Next is to make sure that you have ant installed on your system. So go ahead and open up your terminal and if you're on Ubuntu or Debian based distribution then type in the following commands sudo apt-get install python y ant and this will install ant on your computer in my case since I'm on a Arch Linux machine I'll be using the commands sudo pacman python s apache python ant to install ant. Say yes and then enter. And we're done. After you are finished with the installation, we can now begin to create our Android app. To create a new project, just type Android create project Python Python name and then the name of your application uh, let's call it first Python Python path and then the path where you want your application be saved let's make let's save it in a temporary folder Python Python target and then the Android API version that you want to target. At the time of this tutorial, the latest API version that I have on my system is version 23. So it's Android Python 23. All right. Python Python package then the package name the package name is the your domain name if, if you have a domain name then it is a uh, type in a reverse order for me uh, it will be com.wordpress.by by computing this is the conventional conventional way of uh, naming namespaces in Java to avoid name collisions alright so next is Python Python activity the activity is uh, the main entry point of our Android application so we'll just call it main activity alright and then 
press enter. This will create our project directory and the following files. Now let's go inside our projects directory and from here we can simply type ant debug and this will build our application and automatically sign it with the debugging key. Before an application can be de delivered to a device the package must be signed. The build file is located inside the bin folder so ls bin and this file first debug.apk first the de first python debug.apk is the file that you would like to install on your android device or android emulator however for actual applications delivered to the google play you need to sign them with the real key to do that, we need to create a file called build.properties in your project's base directory. Using your favorite text editor, create a build.properties file and add the following lines. Key.store equals and then the name of your key store. Next line is key.store alias equals and of course the your key stores alias now save this file and type and release this will prompt you for your passwords and build your application automatically signing and zip aligning it using your key Optionally, we can also include our passwords in our build.properties file. So again, edit our build.properties and add the following lines. Key.store.password equals your password and then key.alias.password equals your password. Now s again save the file and running ant release will make for a one-step build process. Okay so now that we're done with that let's uh, try out our application on an Android emulator. I'm using Genymotion. If you want to know how to set up Genymotion on Arch Linux, then I'll post the link to my video on the description below. Okay, so let's fire it up. it's starting up the command to install our application to our emulator is adb install and then the path to our apk bin slash first debug.apk if everything goes well then we will be able to successfully install our application on our emulator there's an application called main activity and this is our application that we just installed okay so now let's launch the application and we can see the default message hello world and 
that's it that's uh, we've made our first Android application via the command line well that's all we have for this part of the tutorial thanks for watching if you find this helpful then please don't forget to leave a like share the video or subscribe for more